Uh, what really differentiates the heavy rare earths from the light rare earths, first, uh, obviously, the weight factor. Heavies are much heavier. Uh, pricing, that's what everyone's focused on. The prices of the, rare, the heavy rare earths are much greater, really due to the fact that supply is not there. Uh, when you look at the China factor that everyone talks about, China produces 97% of the world's rare earths. Of that 97%, a very small percentage, maybe 1 or 2% is actually the heavy rare earths. And they do not have capabilities to feed into the world demand for the heavy rare earths that is about to really take off due to uh, various incentives to uh, better environmental factors. So uh, hybrid cars, for example, we're seeing that in developing countries and even in developed countries that are really becoming the way of the future uh, for environmental factors, cost factors, and really our uh, plans to go to a much greener economy. Uh, so really heavy rare earths, dysprosium for example, really feeds into that market. And Questor Minerals with our bezone deposit, we're very much able to feed into that supply chain and benefit from a growing market, uh, both in North America and globally. Uh, you look at company, automotive companies around the world, they're very focused on having a supply chain of rare earths, especially heavy rare earths, for many years to come to feed into uh, plans that they've taken, there are innovations that require such rare earths, and they need a steady supply chain without a price disruption that we saw in 2010. And that's how Quest can feed into this market and benefit greatly in the years to come.